What is going on, guys? Johnny on the track here. Um, and today I am making another gaming video. I'm excited to uh, bring back some gaming content. And this one is I'm going to be reacting to uh, the driver ratings this year in the F1 2022 game. Um, that game releases in less than a week. If you have, uh, if you get in the Champions Edition, I think it's 7 1. If you get the standard uh, edition, um, I'm really excited for that game. And like I said, the ratings just drop for each driver. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Perfect. All right. So we will start here with Max Verstappen. He is the highest rated driver in the game. He gets a 94 overall. Um, I totally agree with this rating. I, I think maybe uh, if you look at FIFA, I think the highest rated players they give like base cards is uh, like a 93. Um, but 94, totally okay with. Um, Racecraft 98, Pace 97. Experience is a little, a little low because Max Verstappen has actually been around for quite a while now. Um, but in terms of the rest of it, I think a 94 is right on uh, par for what I would expect Max Verstappen to be. Um, then we'll go to Lewis Hamilton. And this one's interesting. So when I look at the ratings, the only question I have right now um, with all this is, you know, what exactly is qualifying for these ratings? Because this year, um, I mean, Lewis Hamilton has just not been that good. Uh, he's only got two podiums. He's coming off a great race last week at Canada. Um, but in terms of like this year, I don't know if he should be tied with Max Verstappen in the ratings. If we're looking at their careers, um, I would expect, I, I mean, I would say Lewis Hamilton should be higher. Um, if you're putting them together, like, you know, his career and this year, I still think that rating's a little high. I probably would have liked to see him around a 91, 92 um, but he is Lewis Hamilton. So, um, you know, I guess I I'm okay with a 94, but I, I still think um, if, if this game is F1 2022, which is what it's advertised as, um, I just, I mean, I can't be on board with Lewis getting the same rating as, as Max. Um, but nonetheless, Lewis, uh, 94 um, awareness, totally agree with that. Um, racecraft agree with that experience. I mean, you can't knock that. It's more the pace. The pace just hasn't been there this year. Um, so 94 Hamilton gets. So we'll get down to uh, Botas. He is an 88. Um, I mean, I think that's fair if you look at where he's positioned. Um, even with Perez, even with signs or a little higher than signs. I'm okay with Botas being an 88. Um, he's had a decent season this year, but, um, I don't know. I, I, I still, some of these ratings are, are a little high to be honest with you. And I think Botas is one of those, um, cause I don't agree with the 90 pace, um, but the rest of his rating is, is okay. The, the pace on a lot of these guys is where it, it gets a little, um, you know, a little strange. I, I don't know if Botas has 90 pace, um, say uh, the Hamilton 93 pace thing i mean that that's it's very interesting how they're doing this um perez 88 I, I i like that i think perez is exactly where he should be um mid to high 80s on all of his um his ratings to give him an 88 he's got the win this year he's been um really really solid throughout uh most of the season so 88 for perez Totally agree with that. I, I think that's a good rating for him. Signs, 87. I, I'm agreeing with that, too. I think that's a good rating. Um, one, if you look at it, right, he's comparable to Perez. I, I totally agree there. One point less or, or one rating less. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's totally right. He's been fast this year. Um, the experience obviously isn't there like it is with Perez. Um, but you know, he's, he's been good this season. He's been fast. He's had some podiums. Um, he's had chances to win races. So signs 87, uh, definitely Lando Norris coming in at a 90. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Um, Lando's been decent this year. He's been consistent. Um, but if you're going to tell me that George Russell down here, who's a 90 is, is even with Lando. I, I, I mean, I can't agree with that. 
Um, the experience is a 64. So I don't know how you get a 90 from a 64, 94, 92, and an 82. Um, I would have liked to see him at around an 86. I feel like that's where Lando is right now. Um, I, I think 90 is, is much too high for, for his rating. Um, but I'm a Lando fan, so I'm, I'm okay with him getting a high rating. I just, I don't really see it. Um, especially for, for this year, um, Charles Leclerc, 92, he's the third highest, uh, rated driver this year. Uh, I'm okay with that. He's been great. He's got, um, I think two wins this year. He's got so much pace, the 95 on the pace. I, I'm, I'm all for there. I mean, he's been so fast, had a lot of poles, um, just, you know, really hasn't gone his way in, in most of the races. And I think that's where the 65 experience comes in perfectly. Um, because I think with more experience, he'd be, be able to, uh, fight some of these issues that he's had this year. And again, it's a lot of it is out of his control. Um, but you look at some of the things that have happened, it's, you know, it's, um, been on him, I guess. So, um, 92, I agree with that. I think that's, that's a pretty good rating for Charlotte Claire, Ricardo 83, this seat. Now this is where it gets interesting because if you're going to, if you're going to do the Lewis Hamilton thing and give like history with this season, why is Daniel Ricardo in 83? Um, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, the pace of course, yes, has not been, has not been good this year. Um, but I mean, Ricardo is, is a veteran. He's won races in F1. He's been around for a while. You know, he bounced around from really good team to really good team. And, always has seemed to find a way to get good results. Um, you know, this year, obviously things haven't gone his way, but an 83 to me seems very, very low for him to be lower than Gasly, Vettel. Um, yeah, that, that, that one doesn't make sense, but you know, uh, it is what it is. Ricardo gets an 83 Pierre Gasly in 84. Um, uh, I mean, I, I think that's okay. Gassy's actually been pretty good. He's, he's had some good runs uh, making his way through the field. So I think that's where the racecraft 90 comes from. Um, but an 84 for Gasly, I think that's okay. I'm okay with that. Alonzo gets an 89. And again, like he's going to get an 89. He's been okay this year. But we go back to the Ricardo thing. I mean, he, he gets an 83 and Alonzo gets an 89. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't get that again. He's got the highest experience, which makes sense. 98. I probably would have preferred to give him a 99. I mean, how much more experience can you get? Um, 88 with the race craft. I agree with the 78 awareness. I mean, I don't know where that really comes from, um, but the pace a little high, but I, I think overall um, Alonzo should have been around in an 86 and 87 because I, I just, the consistency, I don't really see it with, with these ratings, but um you know, if, if they're going to give Hamilton a 94, I mean, you got to give Alonzo an 89. Uh, Espan Ocon an 83. Um, not much to say here. I mean, I think that's a fair rating. If, if you look where kind of he's positioned in the pack and 83, I think is good. 85 for Vettel. Um, again, I think that's pretty fair. I, I maybe you could have bumped him up a point. Um, 86, maybe. I mean, he's had great years in F1. The experience being a 91, um, I would have liked him to seem a little higher. Again, just going back to the Alonzo and, and that sort of thing, the, the overall being higher based on the experience. Um, but, you know, I'm okay with that. Lance Stroll, 80, That's I, I think that's on the money there. Um, Yuki Sonoda, 78. I actually think that's a little low. I, I think he should be right around an 82 and 83. Um Sonoda has been fast this year. He's gotten, you know, top tens when I think he probably shouldn't have. Um, I think he's really out driving his equipment. Of course, experience isn't there, but for Yuki, I mean, 78 seems, seems low. I think he was higher in last year's game. Um, George Russell, 90. This is an interesting one. Um, I, I like where he is rated because I think this year he's been probably from top to bottom, from start to finish this season, he's been the second best driver. Um, consistency, top five in every race. The pace has been there. there. Racecraft has been there. Um, totally agree with the awareness rating. So I'm okay with a 90. I just don't see Lando Norris being on the same level as George Russell in terms of these ratings. But I am all for uh, Russell getting a 90. 
Latifi 70. It makes sense. Um, you know, I mean, you can only grade Latifi, you know, so high with, with the car he's in Schumacher 77. Um, I think that's fair. We'll go to his teammate quick 81 Magnuson. Um, I would like to see Kevin a little higher. I, I actually think for the car he's been in this year, he's actually showed flashes. He got a uh, top, what, fifth or sixth, I think, the first race of the season. Um, the speed and pace has been there for the for the Haas team. It's just more been uh, the luck. So I would have liked to see Magnuson a little higher, maybe an 83 and 84. Um, but I, I guess an 81 is, is fair. Um, Albon, 82. See, again, that's where the Magnuson thing – is, is interesting. I would say Magnuson should be higher than Albon, but, um, you know, I, I don't know how they're doing this. I don't really know what, what is going into these, these ratings. Um, and then for, uh, Zhu, a 70, um, I mean, this is his first year, I think in F1. So, you know, I mean, he can only be so, so high. Um, but I don't know. He, he hasn't been that bad. Uh, but you know, rookie, I guess they give him a 70 that, 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 that is what it is. Um, so we look down the line here. Um, again, I'll re reiterate. It's just the, the ratings to me. I don't know what they were going for. If they were going for, you know, F1 2022, and these are 2022 ratings. I think these ratings are kind of off. Um, if they were looking for that balance of, you know, past history and today i i think they are close but at the same time um i think since this game is an f1 2022 game i think that 2022 and and like even last year the end of last year and, and this year what what we've seen that should have played into the ratings um you know to to give it more of a this year feel um, but I'm okay with, with these, I, I don't think there's any that are like absolute, like eye opening, like what the heck, um, some head scratchers, but you know, I think with every game there's, there's going to be some head scratchers in the ratings. Um, last point I'll make, I, I do think FIFA does their ratings the best. I think their 2k is pretty good. Madden is awful. Um, but I think overall from top to bottom, FIFA does their ratings the best. Um, and if just by going with NBA, FIFA, um, Madden, MLB, I would put like this right in the middle, F122, right in the middle of, of those games. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I'm excited to play that game. Comes out later this week. I hope you guys, um, you know, get it too. It, it looks awesome. Last year's game was awesome. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of these ratings in the comments and um, want to hear what you guys think. Always give us a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you.